Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your GK teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your GK class. My dear students, as you know that we are on unit number 5 and the name of our unit is Agriculture and Livestock. Today, I am going to deliver lecture number 4. So, let's quickly recap what we did in the previous lecture. For that, listen to the questions very carefully and then answer them. So, quickly tell me how do we make clothes? Yes. Very good. Now quickly tell me, for what purpose cotton is harvested? It is harvested to make thread and then from thread clothes are made. Very good. Okay, my dear students, now let's quickly have a look at the today's student learning outcomes. So, today's students will be able to recognize the importance of live stock. So, my dear students, previous lecture se hum agriculture ke baare mein, crops ke baare mein padhe, hum story of cotton padhi. इसके अलावा हमने different दूसरे products देखे जो के हम हासिल करते हैं crops से. So my dear students, आज हम livestock की बात करेंगे, लेकिन उससे पहले let's quickly have a look at the Islamic perspective. So Allah says in Quran, and of the grazing livestock are carriers of burdens and those too small. Eat of what Allah has provided for you and do not follow the footsteps of shaitan. Indeed, he is to you a clear enemy. So, my dear students, Allah Ta'ala ne janwaron ko humara boj uthani ke liye banaya hai. Yeni ki humari transportation ke liye istamal hote hai. Iske ilawa hum in se khane ki mukhtalif cheeze istamal haasil kerte hai. Jaisi ke ande, dood, ghost and other things like leather, wool. Ye tamam cheeze, we get these from animals, from livestock. So, my dear students, now let's quickly move forward towards the pre-reading question. Quickly tell, name some farm animals. जो के फार्म में रखे जाते हैं। Very good, cows, buffaloes, sheep, goats, hen. These all are farm animals. Horses. Okay, my dear students. Now I request you all to please open page number forty-one in your GK two books. I hope everybody has opened the page. So, my dear students, uh, let's quickly have a look at the pictures first. आपको अपनी स्क्रीन पे बहुत सारे एनिमल्स की पिक्चर्स नजर आ रही हैं। जैसे कि काउस एंड बफलोस, देन हेंस, हनी बीज, डक्स, गोट्स, शीप, कैमल्स। तो ये तमाम जो हैं ये क्या हैं? ये लाइव स्टॉक का हिस्सा हैं। So, let's quickly start the reading. Put put your fingers where I will read. Animal rearing live stock. यानी कि एनिमल रीरिंग या लाइफ स्टॉक दोनों का ऑलमोस्ट सेम मीनिंग है। Many animals are reared in Pakistan. These animals include cows and buffaloes, hens, honeybees, ducks, goats and sheep, camels. Okay, now quickly uh, move forward. The major purpose of rearing these animals is to obtain different products from them. So, in janwaro ko palne ka ya inki nasho noma karne ka maksad ye hai ki taake hum inse mukhtalif cheeze ya products jo hai wo hasil kare. So, here on page number 42, quickly open it. Very good. So, here on one side of the chart, you can see the animals or saamne aap uske exactly dek sakte hai ki hum unse kaun kaun se products hasil karte hai. So, let's quickly have a look. So, animals and products. Camel, sheep as you can see. See by the picture. Then we get cheese, leather shoes, leather bags and milk. Goat and cow. We get leather jackets. Uh, sorry. We get yogurt, wool and meat. Then comes the hen and uh, fish. So we get fish meat, eggs and meat. So these are different products that we get from uh, a lot of livestock or the animals that are reared, yani ke jo palte hain hum janwar, uh, farm animals hote hain ye aur inke se hum bohat saare mukhlif products jo hain wo hasil karte hain. So now let's quickly move forward towards the practice. For practice you will open page number 45. Very good. Also take out your notebooks. Very nice. Okay. Now we will do question number one today. What is animal rearing? What benefits do we get from animal rearing? So my dear students, so what is animal rearing? Jin animals ko hum paalte hain, 
आ, उसको हम एनिमल वेयरिंग कहते हैं और लाइफ स्टॉक भी कहते हैं इसके अलावा हम इनसे कौन कौन से बेनिफिट्स हासिल करते हैं वी गेट डिफरेंट प्रोडक्ट्स फ्रॉम देम लाइक मीट एग वूल लेदर मीट सो हम ये तमाम चीजें इनसे हासिल करते हैं सो फॉर योर कन्वीनियंस मैंने आंसर जो है वो नोट डाउन किया है ऑन द टॉप सो यू कैन नोट इट डाउन एनिमल्स रेज फॉर फूड एंड प्रॉफिट रेफर्स टू एनिमल रियरिंग और लाइफ स्टॉक एंड वी गेट मीट लेदर एग्स वूल एक्सेट्रा I hope you have finished the question. You have noted down in your notebooks. Now let's quickly move forward towards page number forty-five. जहाँ exercise D दी गई है. This is in your books. आपको ये book पे ही complete करनी है. So what do these animals give us? Take help from the honey bee. So this honey bee has a lot of words for you. और आपको इनको लिखना है. So what do we get from cows and buffaloes? We get meat and milk. then number 2 fish we get meat then from honey bee we get honey then from hen we get meat and eggs then last is camel so we get meat milk and it is also used for transportation so my dear students sir uh, uh, you will do it in your uh, gk2 books i hope everybody has done it now let's quickly move forward towards the evaluation so uh, quickly move forward towards page number 44 for oral evaluation i hope everybody has opened the page so let's start from question number 11 listen to the questions very carefully and then answer them what is animal rearing so uh, the animals that are raised for different products and for profit and for our use it is called animal rearing or livestock question number 12 name some animals reared in pakistan cows buffaloes hens ducks um honey bees these all are reared in pakistan next is what do we get from cows and buffaloes we get meat milk leather from cows and buffaloes now question number 14 is what do we get from hen and honey bee from hen we get egg and meat and from uh, honey bees we get honey very good so now my dear students let's quickly move forward towards your homework so note down your homework for homework you will download worksheet number 3 from the description box below this video or you can also get it from the print form by your teacher So, my dear students, write down your name and your class, and then livestock. The worksheet is about livestock. What do we get from these animals? So, कुछ animals के names अदर written हैं, और हम इसे क्या हासिल करते हैं? So, word bank is also given. So, from camel, you will write down the answer here. From sheep, you will write down the answers in front of it. Then cow, and then hen. The last question is, what is animal rearing? so i have already told you aapne abhi notebook mein uh, isko note down kiya hai so we will you will uh, write it down here so this is your homework now let's quickly move forward towards the next homework so next aapka hai independent activity number 3 you will also complete it in your notebooks so you have read about animals rearing make a list of products that we get from these animals write about each animal individually so abhi humne worksheet mein bhi isko already kiya so now what you will do is aap is tarah se ek table draw karenge apni uh, notebook mein aur one side pe aap animals likhenge aur uh, in front of it you will write down the products that we get from that animal hen cow camel goat and sheep and the products that we get from it har animal ke samne individually uske jo hai wo uh, products jo hai wo maine likhe hain so you can pause the video and you can complete your homework from here or you can do it by yourself Very good. Now let's quickly move forward towards the wrap up of the lesson. So today we have learned that animals are reared for meat, milk, eggs, leather, honey, etc. And animals like cows, buffaloes, hen, honey bee uh, are reared in Pakistan. So my dear students, today we have read completely about animal rearing. I hope you have enjoyed the lecture. Keep everybody around you safe. Have a good day. Thank you so much. And.